What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have some 7 star rank 2 Ironheart gameplay. So first here we're gonna have this Cyclops, about yeah, like 200k HP. Then we're gonna move to like the 700k healthful. And in this first two fights, we're only gonna have, you know, the 7 star rank 2. And then some critical rating synergies slash critical damage. Uh, she is a 7 star rank 2 and also 6 200, so keep that in mind. She is gonna be like at her maximum level that we can get her so far. And yeah, as you can see, like the 200k health pool is, is dropping really fast. Uh, obviously, we don't even need to go for a special one. And yeah, he's, he, he, just, he just melted really fast. Uh, but this one, the next one is gonna be 700k health pool, close to 100k, 670. And here I wanna go for some special ones because I want to pause my incinerates. And I'm not gonna lie, after after watching this, like, you're probably gonna uh, think to yourself that Ironheart actually has good damage. Because, especially in the next fights, like the Labyrinth of Legends we're gonna showcase, I honestly, I just looked at the opponent's health, and they melted, like, without even throwing this push too. You think that, the, that her damage comes from the SP2, but it's literally from the Incinerates. It's actually crazy. And it probably is because uh, I also have a 7 star rank 2 sentinel relic, which allows me sometimes from a basic attacks to pause. Uh, you might see a pause timer. Yeah, as you can see, this pause timer next to like the precision, this is like the relics pause and the below from the incinerates is from um, Iron Heart's abilities. And you know, those incinerates, uh, sorry, that pause, pause some incinerates, I believe only the ones that already are placed on the opponent, not the future ones and yeah like it, it's just it's really nice to keep up with those incinerates also he reduces the opponent's energy resistance which is really great and yeah i think they, they're just they're just melting you, you'll see so we're gonna go for the special two right now and also the incinerate vulnerability helps a ton and yeah that that is like that is cyclops i mean that was like two special ones and uh 670k health in a minute that that's actually not bad. This is like basically a 7 star 2 Ironheart with like a little bit of critical rating synergies. It's not really like boosted or anything. Now we're going to move to the boosted though. This is going to be 7 star rank 2 with 50% attack. Pretty much. That's what the boosts are going to give us. And this is Red Hulk. And I'm not going to lie. I was playing this with this guy and I was like... Uh, I, just, I just looked at his health. And he dropped to 40% so fast. Like those incinerates, you you think they're they're not doing a lot, but dude, once you stack a bunch of them, it's actually crazy. And I also learned today that the cap for those incinerates are 50. So if you get to 50, try to maintain them, and then you might want to do like light ending combos to build up your armors as well. If you want to go for a uh, pretty good special too. But yeah, we're just building up. We're gonna spam our special ones pretty much. Try to keep those incinerates paused for as much as possible. That pause from the relic helps a lot as well. We place that vulnerability, which helps a lot as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got a lot of things going on for her, man. Pop that relic incinerate vulnerability, and we're gonna go for another special one here. And as you can see, if, if the opponent is aggressive enough, you can actually like maintain the pause a hundred percent of the time because it lasts after the special and for quite a bit of time too. Like you see here, the pause just went away, and we just got it up again. Now take a look at his health. We have not even thrown a single special two, which is our damage source, the big yellow numbers. Because he's just melting from those incinerates. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Like, look at his health. He's losing 1% a second. Like, it, it's it's pretty good, man. <laughs> it's pretty good. And it's so easy to maintain those as well, especially when you got the relic, or you can just spam as we want. Like I said, you almost keep the pause timer 100% uh, of the time. But here we might drop some incinerates because I feel like I'm going to go for a special 2 just to get some extra damage. So I'm going to throw the relic here, incinerate vulnerability, uh, make our incinerates a little bit stronger as well. And yeah, here we're going to go for a special 2 with 44 incinerates and that's some nice extra damage. It's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. And take a look at this. This took us a minute and 50 seconds. That's not bad, man. That's not bad at all. I did not expect it to be that fast. Obviously, there are faster 7 stars, but honestly, this is just unex unexpected, <laughs> to say the least. So here I'm going to go for the Sentinel Relic, and I'm going to change the uh, opponent's energy resist to uh, more attack against units, because now we're going to fight this old man Logan. 
Again, 1.5 million HP. Uh, the thing here is though, on the previous Red Hulk fight, I did pop the White Max pre-fight, which gives us a little bit more attack. And here I totally forgot. So, you know, we're not gonna have the extra damage from that pre-fight against this Oban Logan. But we do get 9% more attack against mutants, which is really nice. Which honestly, like, I don't know if it's better to reduce their energy resist or have more attack against mutants. If I were to get Ironheart, I probably probably would have the energy resist all the time. Because, you know, when you're in a Battlegrounds match, you don't know if you're going to fight a mutant or like a mystic or something. So I would probably leave it as opponent's energy resist, which works for everyone. Because, you know, if you just leave it up to mutants, it only works for, you know, one class out of the six. So I'd probably stick with the incinerate. Uh, sorry, energy resistance. The thing about this relic though, if the opponent is immune to incinerate, you're gonna have to go for the ruptures, and then that relic is pretty much useless for you. It does nothing for you. Incinerate Vault does nothing, energy resist does nothing, and you cannot even pause your incinerates because they're gonna be ruptures. So that's definitely the best relic you can put on Ironheart. But keep in mind, if the opponent is immune to incinerate, the damage is gonna be quite lower. So look at his health now, 50%. Haven't thrown a single special two. Nothing. <laughs> Man. Honestly, I'm pretty happy that Ironheart isn't actually that bad as, as I thought. So special two with 15 incinerates, almost hit the damage cap on the first hit, and we hit it on the next one there with those crits. So that's some nice damage, and like I said, I love how she's not like Morbius, where she consumes all the bleeds from the opponent, you just get to keep that. So like the special two is like, think of it as an extra damage source, because most of the damage, is incinerates like <laughs> i did not expect that but that's how it is and then we're gonna move to a second to, to the last clip here this was mid 47 this could have been a little bit faster if i had the max pre-fight so keep that in mind now this is star lord here this guy is, is pretty pretty huge but we're actually using suicides i would not recommend using suicides with iron heart because literally in this video we're just spamming special ones so you're gonna see we're definitely gonna die before we kill him him but let's see how much damage we can deal we can deal uh in like two minutes or so so yeah you're gonna see some big big numbers with those suicides obviously she's not immune to anything and uh a big thing here is wait i don't think i even have willpower <laughs> on yeah i don't think i got willpower because it doesn't seem like i uh or maybe she's a robot that's why i'm not too sure but uh, yeah, we're, we're taking, we're definitely gonna die pretty pretty uh, fast. But we also have that regen. Regen is really nice, especially at six to 100. And heals are already, already dropped 10% of itself with just 26 incinerates. But there's also like one more thing about the relic, which if you can get more of your relic power, if you inflict an incinerate when, when the opponent was already incinerated, that's something like that. Like, I don't know if it's it's gonna get a lot more power, but it seems like we're filling up this uh, relic power pretty fast. There go that vulnerability. We're almost maxed out of those incinerates, and he is melting. He is melting, but we are melting too. I don't know why I did not have willpower. I, I just, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, 15 incinerates. As you can see, he is melting. Like, he's losing like 1% of his health every two seconds, I wanna say. And now we're about to get that regen. Here, I just want to pop a special one. Just maintain my my uh, 15 incinerates for as much as possible. Because that's definitely doing all the work. But I feel like I'm going to go for a special two here. Just to see how much damage we can deal. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Look at that regen. Not bad. Even with the poison. Pop a nice special two. 47k, 47k. And a couple of 50ks. Not bad, man. Not bad. Look at Ironheart go. Uh, here we got hit as well fortunately so i can only throw like another one more special one we dropped our incinerate because i went for the special two if i kept spamming my sp1 we honestly probably could have killed them before we died uh but yeah this is gonna be like 60 69 percent of his health which is about like 2.3 million because this guy has like 3.3 in uh how fast in two minutes man so like if i kept spamming my special ones we could have killed this guy under three minutes. Like, I know this is a seven star rank two, and I'm using like some crit synergies because her own synergies aren't really doing too much. She gets like an unstoppable after the special one. Uh, it's nothing too too crazy. I just have some crit synergies, 
and like 50% boost. But this is like, if you check my previous video, which is like 6 star rank 5 Ironheart, it's like such a big difference. So yeah, I'm really glad I learned that her damage source is literally spam special ones, keep those incinerates, those incinerates up, and the opponent's just gonna melt. The specialty is, is just an extra damage source if you want to like close out the fight a little bit faster uh so you don't let those incinerates do it honestly man i feel a little bit better for either heart now the thing is she might need sig 200 to do this because she also increases the potency for her repulsor attacks is that it's called that's how it's called or debuffs you know those incinerates or ruptures from for like a maximum of like 24 percent potency at sig 200 which is actually really important so she might need Sig 200 to do this. Uh, so that's, that's the only problem. But the damage is actually there, which is, it makes me happy because the utility is there too. So yeah, man, I think I was wrong about Ironheart. Like she's, she's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys already watched like my previous video, I just, honestly, I think it's like such a big difference. And uh, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm glad I found that special one is just a better way to do it. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.